I am Valérie Jumessy and I am a French entrepreneur. I'm based in Paris. My parents are Cameroonian. I'm the artistic director of our family business, which is called Upgrade Agency. And I am also a consultant in image and a creativity coach. I co-host a podcast with my three sisters and my mother. It is called Les Jumes Podcast. I have always been fascinated by the human potential. For me, it is so important to, as a woman and as a man, to be able to realize our dreams. So welcome in mine. It's Amulet Podcast. It's a 10-minute bubble of courage in French and in English, where I will be talking everything vulnerability, authenticity, and freedom. So make yourself comfortable. Welcome in my dream. This is Amulet Podcast. Hello to you, my friend, and welcome in this new episode of Amulet Podcast. I am Valerie, and I will be your host for the next minute. I am really happy to have you with me for this intimate conversation where we are going to talk about mindset today. Have you ever heard of this guy? He's a French philosopher. So basically, it was the ancient rappers. His name was René Descartes, and he said... I think so I am. Yes, that's a lot of philosophy. And I'm sure you're wondering why I'm talking about that when I'm supposed to explain how to have a better mindset. Well, be patient. I'm coming. So I think so I am. What does this mean? In the brain language, this means certain things that I want to explain to you so you can understand how you can change your mindset. You know, the brain is something that is malleable and plastic. It changes and grow according to how you want to use it, basically. Let me break it down to you. Let's say, and it's a real like simplification of everything that is happening in the brain, because of course I am not a neuroscientist yet, <laughs> but I just want to, you know, make it pretty simple so you can understand the point. So let's say you have two cells. A and B. A thought, so when you are thinking about something, is a connection or a communication between cell A and cell B. And so to communicate, the cell is going to send an electrochemical pulse to the cell B. So they are talking to each other. Basically, that's the first stage. Let's say you are on Tinder and you just swiped right because you thought that dude was really, really cute. You send him an electrochemical pulse so he knows that you exist. So now you are communicating. Step two, as soon as the cells talk to each other for the first time, there is a much greater chance that they talk to each other again. Why? Because they know each other. They know they exist. So it's going to be easier for them to exchange signals because the brain just going to help it happen. Basically, a Tinder explanation. You talked to this guy yesterday, Marcus. He was really, really cute. And today, Saturday night, you don't know what to do. Of course, we are not in lockdown anymore. And you are just going on your Tinder and you are going right into the conversation you just have with him yesterday. It's easier because you already know him. You already talked with him. And so the brain is going to facilitate the communication between you guys. Once we have a thought one time, it's much likely that we could have that thought again. So the path is going to be easier, quicker and simpler. Third step is getting hot in here. Once the thoughts have occurred enough time in the brain, the brain considers this a high priority pathway. Since this thought is happening several times, the brain is going to say, oh, okay, that must be important. So let me just make sure that thought has a clear path because apparently that guy that I'm the brain of needs it. And so there is this higher priority position. So the brain's going to make sure that it's faster for you to have the thought. So that is when it's really interesting and crazy because you are according to what you think, basically. It's very important for learning because 
Those pathways that the brain is helping you create, make sure that you know how to walk, how to talk, how to eat without having to make a lot of computations. Because imagine if we had every time to relearn how to do certain things that are necessary for us to survive. It would be totally crazy. By the way, when you think about it, like the brain has three parts and the oldest parts is the part that comes from the get-go. So it's the part that comes when you are born. And this part is called the reptilian brain. And um, basically it helps a baby do anything a baby does, which is poop, cry and eat. And so the brain is learning all the time. And the more you practice something and create this easy connection between cells, then the brain makes sure that it's easy for you to go from cell A to cell B. And this is called the neuroplasticity. <laughs> it's like neuroscience crash course 101 with Valerie Dumessi. Bam, you have your diploma. And the scientists say that neurons that wire together, fire together. So basically, you know how your brain works. Now, why is it so important? Because... You grow up in an environment with maybe five or ten people that you are seeing all the time. And those people add beliefs and way of seeing the world that they gave to you, that share with you. And so, for instance, if in your family people said, us people, we don't do math or us people, we are not rich or whatever. You've been listening to that belief for a long time. So your brain has been creating a pathway really easy, really fast, really quick from cell A to cell B. And so at the end, it becomes a belief to you, a high priority belief to you. When you think about it, it's not bad or it's neither good or bad because it's a good thing if the belief we are talking about is a positive one. Let's say you say, well, in our family, we are entrepreneurs or we are adventurous or we are whatever. It's great because it's something that you now believe and you're going to act on it. But when it's something negative, when it's about having a fixed mindset, then that's where when we have problems. A fixed mindset is believe basically that your intelligence is something static, that it's going to lead to a desire to look smart and therefore a tendency to avoid challenges give up easily when you are in front of obstacles. Also, you're going to see effort as something fruitless or you won't be able to tolerate any criticism because it's going to be for you just a personal attack. And you're going to feel like, okay, when you say that my work is not good, you are saying that I am not good. That's the fixed mindset. And that's lame. I'm sorry to say it. But no worries. We all have fixed mindset in some areas, some more than others. And some people are more fixed mindset than others. But like I said, your brain is plastic. So you can change the connection between your cells to make your mindset change also. Now you think so you can be who the fuck you want. I'm sorry for the cursing, but I need you to know that you can be who the fuck you want. How? Because the brain can create pathways between two cells. Okay, we say that. But it can also destroy pathways that are not used. For instance, if you're going to, I don't know, Disney World and one attraction is not used at all by the visitors, I'm sure that something is going to happen to that attraction and no one, like it's going to disappear and it's going to be replaced by something that is better for the visitors. So the brain can do the same. If a pathway is not used, it destroys it. It says, okay, it's not a high priority anymore. I can put that aside. And also it can create new pathways because it says, oh, this thought is coming a lot. Mm. She says she's enough every day. Maybe she is enough. Let's create a pathway that is easy, fast and simple so she can think and be that person she thinks she is. <laughs> So how can you transform a thought that you have that is not helping you into something that is going to be helping to you? Well, I can explain it pretty easily, but then you have to practice. Basically, you're going to have to create competitive thoughts that are more powerful and that are in the opposition of the thoughts that are not helping you. So if you don't want to have negative thoughts anymore about something, 
you have to minimize that thought, not think about it that much and reinforce something that is more positive. For instance, if you think that you are enough or you cannot do anything right, you're going to have to say, I am enough and I can do everything right with time and with work and with determination and with intention, I can do anything. So it's something that you're going to have to practice. It's going to be really a practice. It's going to be active. And then with time, you're going to be able to change your mindset. Why is it going to take time? Well, because you have those thoughts since you're young. So it takes time to clean the mess and to put something that is more flourishing and nourishing for you. And this is how you have the growth mindsets. And the growth mindset is amazing if you have it, like if you manage to cultivate it, because you think that intelligence can be developed and it leads to a desire to learn and therefore a tendency to embrace challenge, to persist in the face of setbacks, to see effort as the path of mastery and to learn from criticism and also to find lessons and inspiration in the success of others. As a result, you become someone who's not afraid of dreaming big and who's not afraid to say that he can achieve amazing stuff. You become someone who's okay with the struggle and okay with the process because he or she knows that's where the lesson is. That's in the path, in the process, in the thing that you are learning along the way. So if you want to create new connection between cell A and cell B, I'm going to give you some tools to do that. It's going to take time, as I said, but you can do it. First tool is to have a gratitude journal. This gratitude journal is really powerful because every day you're going to write down three to five things that you are grateful for today. It can be anything as simple as I am thankful for the air I breathe. I am thankful for the food I ate. I am thankful for the conversation I had with my brother, my sister, whoever. You have something to be grateful for. And if you don't find one, it's a practice that you're going to have to acquire to create new pathways in your brain. So it's easier for you to see that you are surrounded by amazing stuff and that you can be grateful. Second thing is the visualization. Basically, it's a way for you to imagine and to see what you want to accomplish in your life. It's a way to imagine your dream. It's a way for you to feel the way you're going to feel when you're going to achieve the goal, when you're going to create the music, when you're going to have the diploma. You need to close your eyes and feel every feeling. Why? Because your brain don't see the difference between your imagination and the reality. Let's have an example. You are afraid that people are making fun of you. You think that they are talking shit about you and you are afraid that you're going to fail and that you are an imposter or whatever. All that are only thoughts in your mind. They are thoughts, that's it. And so your brain believe it. So if it believes the shit that you are thinking that is not helping you, you can create another reality in which you are the one who's making the change. You are the one who's dreaming big. You are the one who's succeeding despite the obstacles and the criticism and etc. You can create that and you have to do it daily. So imagine you can use a vision board. That's something you can do. And you think about it every day and you visualize every day. It's going to help you. And third, last but not least, it's the power of the mantras and the affirmation. Again, the main thing that we want to do here is to create new pathways, new thoughts. So what you have to do is to create affirmation that at first maybe you're not going to believe in it. But after a while, you're going to believe in it. Why? Because you think about it and your brain, when you think about something, thinks that's the reality. So you're going to say, I am enough. You're going to say, I am pretty, I am beautiful, I am a successful woman, I am a fun partner, I am an amazing friend. You decide the affirmation that you need in your life. You decide the affirmation that are going to heal you in some way. You create your reality and you use it as a mantra. It's something that you want to come back to when you feel like you are losing it. That's something that you want to create every day. So you are going to believe in it and then you're going to just become it because your brain is becoming it. 
yes, we made it. For instance, this podcast, I was like, I'm not going to be able to make it. It's too long. I am tired. Ah, la, 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 la. And yet I visualized myself finishing this podcast. And I said, you know, girl, you're going to do it today, not another day. And you have everything within you to make it happen. And voila, I'm done. I'm done for today. And I'm happy, but tired, but happy. So yes, thanks to Carol Dweck, who is the researcher at the Stanford University who conceptualized all those mindset things, we are able to change the way we think in order to think a way that is going to be helpful for us. Just a last thing that you need to know. Just know that the mindset can change depending on how you feel, if you are tired or just the subject we are talking about. For instance, you can be really growth mindset in your personal life and really fixed mindset in your work life. You can be, um, for instance, a day really growth mindset and the day after you're so tired, so you know you cannot do it, so you're a fixed mindset. The most important is not to be growth mindset all the time. I think the most important is to be able to see when you are not fixed mindset and when this mindset is preventing you from achieving whatever you want to achieve. So once you are able to identify that, you can just change your mindset by the tools that I gave you or just be mindful and be like, okay, the way I'm thinking is not me thinking straight. I know I can do it. I just need some time and some practice and some whatever. I'm going to be able to make it. And then you make it. And then the next time, the next challenge that you set yourself, you know you can make it because you've already done so much before. And that's great, by the way. So yes, this is it for me today. I hope those tools are going to help you better understand how to become the person you want. Make sure you do that work because we need people who are aligned with whoever they want to become. And by the way, I am a coach Yes, I am a certified coach. So if you want to dig deeper into those subjects and you want help, but you don't know where to get it, just know that I'm here to help you. I have certification and also I am passionate about creativity and growth mindset and style. So I am your girl. Feel free to email me or just to send me a DM, whatever you want. So we can work together and I can help you with the tools that I have to achieve the life you want. Oh yeah, really important. Before I go, again, if you've listened this podcast till the end, please make sure you share it with at least one person who you think is going to need it. Why? Because I need to grow the community around this podcast and I know it's going to help a lot of people, but I need you to do that. So make sure you share this podcast with someone. Thank you very much for your attention. Have an amazing end of week and life and whatever and take care. This was Valérie for Amulet Podcast. <laughs>